Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Cursor AI Code Editor tool to connect DBT with Snowflake. Okay, so first of all, let me just open the Cursor AI tool. Let me just add the project in Cursor AI, open a project and I will create a folder, new folder in my D directory and I will name this folder as DBT and let me just add this folder in Cursor AI tool. Okay, folder is added. Now the next step is to create a Python virtual environment. So what I need to do is just go to the terminal and I will and select new terminal. Okay. And after that, I will just execute this command Python minus M V E N V D B T dash core. It will create a virtual environment for me. Let me just execute the command as it is. No, I will just instead of PowerShell, I will choose command prompt. Let me just quickly change the terminal. Now let me just execute the command and press enter. And look, the, the virtual environment uh, is being created. Just wait until this command is done and dusted. Okay. So the virtual environment has been created. Now what I need to do next is uh, activate this environment. So let me just do dir to look at the directories. I will go to this dbt uh, dash core, uh, go to this folder and then go to the scripts uh, folder. Okay. And then, and then you need to type the command, just type activate and afterwards press enter. Look, virtual environment has been activated now i'm going to go to my dbt dash core folder and after that i will execute next command this one i will install the uh, the adapter for snowflake this is the command for installing the snowflake adapter so the my, so my target uh, database is going to be snowflake so let me just execute this command as it is pip install pip install dbt dash snowflake so i will provide uh, these commands in the below video description so do not worry about it so it will automatically install the uh, the adapter and you just need to wait meanwhile what i need to show you is the snowflake so this is my snowflake uh, account so this is my username and after that I have to provide the password in order to log in into my Snowflake account. So let me just quickly do it for, for you. Sign in. So I've already created a 30 day free trial version. If you do not have an account, just create it for free for 30 days. Okay. After that, I need to create something like, for instance, I need to create database name, schema, etc. So I will select a, a SQL sheet. Okay. Look, I have to create a data. Uh, I have to create a warehouse database and schema. I think I have already done that. So prod is the name of schema. All I need to do is just quickly uh, execute all these commands. So in order to run these commands, I have to click run. I think it will give me an error because uh, these things have already been created. Now let me just quickly see the status. It is running at the moment. You need to wait for a while. So the command has been successfully executed and the snowflake adapter has been installed. So the next step is to uh, initialize a new dbt project. In order to do that, what I need to do is just execute the command dbt init just copy and just paste the command over here okay and enter so it is running at the moment you just need to wait okay now it is saying that you need to give a name to your project so i will name my project as dwh so dwh will be the name of my project and now i will press enter afterwards uh, it is asking me to setting up your profile which database would you like to choose so i want to choose snowflake so i will type one and i will press enter so afterwards i have to provide 
the snowflake account so how to get a snowflake account the process is very easy so i will go over here and, and i will click sign out and again i'm going to log in into my account let me just do it again uh, the username and the password it is already saved okay i will click no before i'm going to log in into my account this is the name of my account this is let me just copy it quickly okay let me just do it and just copy and paste it over here so this will be my account name and i will press enter now i will provide the username so the username is this one let me just copy and paste it over here okay now as far as this user is concerned i have to provide the password as well so i will i will type number one okay and i will press enter okay so when you will uh, when you are creating a snowflake account you have to set your username as well as your password okay so i have already done that so now i will provide my snowflake password and i will press enter okay after that i will have to provide the role so how i am going to get the role let me just uh, quickly uh, tell you i will first log in into my account so my role name is uh, go to the worksheet this is the role name account admin is the default role name so i will type account admin and i will press enter and then the warehouse name let me show you the warehouse name so the warehouse name is this data underscore project is the warehouse name which i have created by running this command this particular command okay so i will just quickly type the warehouse name and then i will provide the uh, database name which is this let me just quickly do it and i will press enter after that i will have to provide the schema name which i have already created by running this command let me just quickly do it for you enter threads one only one thread i want to provide so i will provide one now everything is done and dusted okay after that what i need to do i have to type a command dir okay then i will go to my project folder which is dwh and i will press enter then afterwards i will type a command dbt debug and the reason i am typing this command because i want to check if everything is okay my connection is okay yaml file is there um and i will now press enter now it will automatically debug my connection details okay okay found and valid okay found and valid okay found it is running at the moment let's see what error i will get okay it says that connection test i am getting error now let me just quickly find out why i am getting this error okay let me just go to my c directory and i will go to users and then i will go to my user and i will go to dot dbt okay and then i will go to the profile and i will edit with notepad okay everything is okay and why i'm getting this error i think i need to append the service provider aws now let me just save this and let me quickly run the command again let's see what happens dbt uh, space debug and let's see if i get any error okay connection okay all checks pass okay i hope you have gone through the process of connecting dbt with uh, snowflake at the end i would request you to please subscribe like and share thank you